I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise I call Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select categories and force hands in those categories. This is a great exercise if you tend to play the same hands over and over and over again. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. Let's roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled a 12. That's a multiple of 4, so we're in north seat. Player 4. That's non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston. Okay, odds, consecutive, and quince. We have one joker. There's one hand that uses flowers, three, six, nine, and quince, and we only have one three. So we do have a six, but they're in two suits. So I don't think a quint would be good here. We do have a pair of eights. I think we should do something consecutive with the eights. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's do consecutive. Oh, and we get a two, three, four. All right, let's keep going. There's a flower. We need to force consecutive run here. Seven, eight, eight. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Pung, concealed pung hand. 7, 8, or 7, 8, 7, 8. We could use this for the 7. Let's see. 8, 7, 8, 9, dragon. I want to use these flowers, though. Let's pass these. Let's try to use the flowers. There are two hands there that we might be able to do. Three. Three hands with flowers. Let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight with flowers. Six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Let's pass these three. There's a six. Six, seven, eight. Let's pass these three. There's a nine. Seven, eight, nine. Dragon. Seven, eight, nine. Dragon. I'd like to use these though. Six, seven, eight. Let's give up the six. Okay, let's see. These didn't help at all. We got the eights. Look at that. Eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. I think that's still the strongest. Or seven, eight, nine, red. I would not pass like numbers. Let's pass two for optional. No keepers. I think what I would probably do here is play six, seven, eight in mixed suits with flowers. Consecutive run, fourth hand down. We could always play seven, eight, nine red. This would be the second from the bottom as an option. I would discard those. Let me know if you would have done something differently though. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. Odds and quince.
I rolled a six. That would be player two. Let's make odds work here. We have no jokers, which I've played a quint with no jokers starting out, but I think we do have odds that we can work with. Just keep them all, even the dragon. Let's go ahead and pass these three and see if we can get some more odds. There's one, three, and a dragon. All right, let's see. I think little odds is better. We have no nine, so let's give up the sevens and focus on one, three, five. Little odds, one, three, five. And pass these three. If you get a joker, just exchange it. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. There's a white dragon. We still don't have to pick a hand. Let's pass these. If you get a joker, just exchange it. There's a white dragon. We have a five. Okay, now we kind of have to make a choice here. So we have these dragons. There's one hand that uses a knitted convention. It's the fourth hand down. One, three, five. One, three, five. This is the wrong suit. We need it to be one, three dot, five crack, or one bam, three dot, five bam, to use this. Let's see. So let's go ahead and give up the threes and focus on one five. So let's pass. Let's see. Ooh. Let's get rid of the green. Okay, there we go. So I want to leave myself another good pass. So here's two decent passes. They're both a little risky because they're both threes and fives. We need a three dot. There's a five, bam. Now I'm thinking maybe we should switch to a quint. Joker bait. Let's see what happens. Whoops. I'm going to keep the east. We can play a quint maybe. Let's pass these three and see if we can get a wind back. North. Quint. Five, dragon, wind. I know we don't have any jokers, but don't let that stop you. Because during the pick and discard phase of the game, more times than not, you draw two. At least I do. So I would push it. We could use this as joker bait. Let me know if that makes you cringe, right? Pound cringe for force two. Let's go to the next one. I rolled a six, so we're player two. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna keep the odds right here. That's it. Oh, we can keep that maybe. All right, let's break this up. West, C, 
south to oh we could maybe hold that for joker bait six two let's pass those we can maybe use a dragon in there south eight four Okay, that's going to help. One, three, five, dragon. Maybe. Maybe. Let's break this up. Three. Three. Past, pass. Okay, we got a nine, but we're in little odds here. One, three, five. We don't need a nine. So here, one, three, five in one suit. One, three, five with the dragon. Or one, three, five with a white dragon, but we don't have a white dragon. So I think what I would do is break this up so as not to pass like numbers. Passing like numbers is almost as bad as passing a pair, in my opinion. So we have a green dragon and a flower. There's the concealed hand. Let's pass these three. This is a little risky, but we may be playing a concealed hand. There's a five. And we have tiles we can pass. I think we should go ahead and commit, maybe. Let's see, let's pass Mm, let's pass two. Give ourselves options. No. Let's give it up. Full pass. Because I'd have to give up these flowers. I'd rather leverage them. We have no gaps. So we have four discards and a hand. Concealed, one, three, five, dragon. Pair. This needs to be a pung, pung. We have a pung there. That needs to be a pung. No gaps. I think that was pretty good, actually. Little odds. That last one was very nice. Might even have been a winner. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if you play hands that you normally avoid. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.